Will Ferrell's 2015 movie, Get Hard, is about a soft, pudgy white guy going to prison for a crime he didn't commit. To toughen up before doing hard time, he hires the only black man he knows to help him get ready. His black acquaintance is just as soft and knows nothing about being a hard man, but takes the money and the task. Besides being insultingly racist by playing off multiple racial stereotypes, it didn't do well because it simply wasn't funny. Of course, in the Hollywood realm, racism is acceptable if it's funny or makes movies. Now, full disclosure, it is IFC, inappropriate for Christians, so I didn't watch the movie. My comments are based off of commercials and reviews. Is Mr. Farrell plunging into irrelevance and eventual disapproval as it gets harder for him to make a movie that people actually want to watch? I don't know. But his plunge off that cliff with this movie is eerily similar to the path of David's life in the last year before the death of Saul. David had proven his godly heart by refusing to kill Saul. But as an enemy of the king, David was considered an outlaw. As a result, his options were getting very limited. To survive, he had to get harder, and he did. But in the process, he risked a slide into irrelevance and eventual disapproval with God and Israel. After David's last encounter with Saul, he did what seemed to be his only viable option. He became a true outlaw and joined the Philistines, Israel's unrelenting enemy, 1 Samuel 27, verses 1-4. In order to do that, he had to become hardened to the fact that he was siding with the people who were capturing and killing Israelites. To succeed, he had to go out and attack other people, kill them all, take their stuff, and then lie to his new king by saying he had attacked Israelites. 1 Samuel 27 verses 8 through 11. The Philistine king was happy because he thought David was losing favor with Israel by killing Israelites. He saw it as a win-win for the Philistines and a lose-lose for David and Israel. So Achish believed David, saying, He has surely made himself odious among his people Israel. Therefore he will become my servant forever. 1 Samuel 27, verse 12. Fortunately, God wasn't through with David, so he didn't lose everything. But it was a bad move. The lesson for us is in the statement of King Achish. He thought he could so corrupt David as to make him a permanent servant. Satan does the same with us today. His desire is to corrupt us with sin, so we will be his servants forever. Thankfully, God has offered us a way out through the gift of his son. If we will believe in Jesus, repent, and be baptized into him, then we can live for him by faith forever. We can be his servant forever. But the choice is yours. Which will it be? Whom will you serve forever? Satan or Jesus? Think about that. And thanks for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.